wait, 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 and especially our children think less. We call cognitive death. This episode is all about whether ChatGPT is making our kids smarter or just quicker. And always, we always start with the conclusion first because we know you're limited for time. ChatGPT is incredible. It helps us and our kids finish tasks faster, write better, and feel more productive. But a new MIT study shows that while AI makes things easier, it may also be making us wait, 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 and especially our children think less. And that's where it gets serious. Because using AI too often for learning leads to something what we call cognitive debt. Yes, another new term. That's when the brain stops practicing key functions like memory, attention, and deep thinking. In short, kids may be getting their homework done, but not truly learning. And if learning is really the goal, as it is for all us parents, then these research findings are honestly a little scary. Hi, I'm Sukirti Gupta and welcome to AI Basics. I've spent over 30 years in media and tech from Nokia to Dell to being the CEO of Jagran New Media. And now I'm the co-founder of Civic Thoughts. But more importantly, I'm the mom of two nine-year-old girls. So yes, I'm living these questions every single day. Recently, I was speaking to a friend and AI specialist, Juhi Gurg, a partner director at Microsoft and the product head for M365 Copilot, the AI that powers apps like Word and Excel. So this woman knows what she's talking about. And in our conversation, Juhi mentioned the study by MIT and it really hit home for me and I had to do a deep dive. What's the name of the study? It's called Your Brain on ChatGPT. And it starts to finally put data behind something many of us parents have been sensing. What happens when our kids use too much AI for schoolwork? Will it actually interfere with their ability to think, remember, and learn? Unfortunately, the study says yes. So what's the study about? MIT researchers, they wanted to study the true impact of using ChatGPT to write essays. They divided their students into three groups. The first one wrote without any tools, just using their brains. One used Google, and the third one used ChatGPT. And here's the fascinating part. They put these EEG headsets on each student to measure brain activity during the task. What they found was eye-opening. Let's go through the five takeaways from the study. Number one, chat GPT, yes, makes your brain work less. Students who wrote without any help showed the most brain activity. Chat GPT uses the least, especially in areas like attention, memory, and problem solving. Number, Number two, AI weakens memory. Most students who use ChatGPT couldn't recall what they wrote, just even minutes later. In contrast, those who wrote without AI remember their essays clearly. Number three, and sometimes I think you also feel this, it doesn't really feel like my work. ChatGPT users often said, this doesn't feel like my essay. And that when the work does not feel like your own, you don't reflect on it. And without reflection, is there really oh, one? Number four, cognitive death is real. Even after switching back to writing on their own, AI users struggle to re-engage. It's like they'd gotten used to not thinking deeply and just couldn't switch gears. That's what cognitive debt is. And just like financial debt, it keeps building up quietly until it starts limiting your future. And here's the scariest part. Wait, wait. And you thought we had gone through the scary parts. The longer term results were even worse. And I'm going to read this directly from the study. When we use the term LLM, in it, it means that we are referring to ChatGPT and other tools like this. So here goes. As the educational impact of LLM use only begins to settle with the general population, in this study, we demonstrate the pressing matter of a likely decrease in learning skills based on the results of our study. The use of LLM had a measurable impact on participants, and while the benefits were initially apparent, as we demonstrated over the course of four months, the LLM group's participant performed worse than the counterparts in the brain-only group at all levels, in neural, linguistic, and scoring. And that's huge, because it means the more students use ChatGPT over time, the worse they actually got at learning. So what's the real question here? Are our kids learning or are they just finishing? Because if the goal is just to get through the assignment, then sure, AI works and writes a beautiful essay. But if the goal is to build thinking, curiosity, confidence, then you really need to focus how they get to the answer. And that is what matters. 
So what can we do as parents? No, no, we're not talking about banning AI, but let's talk about teaching our kids to use it wisely. First and foremost, let them first write their own ideas. Even if it's messy, even if it's just an outline, let them to put their ideas together. Then maybe use ChatGPT to refine, not replace. Number three, and really focus on this, make sure that they read and rewrite what AI gives them and put it in their own words. Number four, have a real conversation. Ask them what did they learn, not just did you finish. And number five, keep reminding them AI is a tool. And what's my final thought? This technology is new. It's really, really new. The research is still early and the truth is we're all figuring this out together. But this MIT study makes one thing clear. If we let AI do all the thinking, our kids may slowly forget how to think. Let's raise creators and not just content finishers. Let's raise thinkers and not just prompt users. You've been listening to AI Basics and I'm Sukirti Gupta, helping you stay curious, confident and AI aware as a parent, professional and a lifelong learner. Thank you so much for watching us.